up guys welcome back to my channel so as you guys can see by the title today i will be doing a makeup challenge i am going to be doing my makeup backwards your girl is nervous but long story short i was kind of talking about with my friend malaysia about how like i'm just like i have like creators block right now i don't really know what to film like i don't even know what i want to do with my channel right now like that 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 and then she suggested for me to just do a bunch of makeup challenges i'm just like you know what sis you right so i'm gonna be popping up with more makeup challenges just to kind of switch it up a bit and just to have a little bit more fun with makeup especially since i cleaned out a lot of my makeup and i realized i have a lot of stuff that i really don't even use all like that but basically in today's video i'm just going to legit do like my regular makeup routine but backwards so i literally have everything laid out in front of me just so i know that i'm doing everything in the correct order per se as you guys can see my eyebrows are not done because i tend to do my eyebrows first before i do anything else so it feels kind of weird like i almost never do my eyebrows on camera it's just I don't know, they just never turn out right to me whenever I try to do them on camera. But we're gonna see how everything turns out today. So yeah, if you guys are curious to how this look is gonna end up looking, keep on watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl down below. And yeah, let's get started. So starting off, first and foremost, I am going to be doing my lips. I tend to do my lips dead last. And I tend to use a lip liner and then also like a regular lip gloss, butter gloss, etc. So since we're doing everything better, backwards I'm gonna be starting off with my lips and I'm going to be using the NYX butter gloss in the shade Madeline I feel like already starting off this is looking high key crazy especially because this is like a lighter butter gloss like on camera it looks nice but like in person like right around here I can already tell it looks a little crazy so yeah let me go next and pop on some Oh, that face I just made was low-key creepy. I was like, like, ew. Okay. So next, I'm going to be using the NYX lip liner. And this is in the shade Downtown Beauty. Believe it or not, it actually looks halfway decent. So far, I'm not mad at it. Okay, okay, maybe I'm not going to be looking crazy by the end of this video. Hmm. Okay, so next, going in order, I'm going to be using my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And I'm just going to use my fan to fan everything down. I know some people in their regular makeup routines actually do spray setting mist on their face first before they do anything else. So I guess they say it helps with like your overall makeup look and stuff like that. I personally, I don't think... Maybe I did it like once or twice, but I never really noticed a difference, so I really didn't bother to do it because why am I gonna sit up here and waste product for no reason? So yeah, there's that. And then next, I'm just gonna be using the Maybelline Master Contour Kit, and I'm going to be, I'm actually gonna use the blush, the highlighter and the blush from this palette just to make things a little bit more simple instead of having to use too many products. So I'm nervous, because once you start getting into the face, like you just don't know, like this can either go really good or really Bad. I'm basically just gonna put it on all the places I usually put my highlighter, so basically my cheekbones, my chin, and above my brows, and also my nose. And again with this, I do know that some people do like to actually put highlighter on underneath their foundation to kind of give you that glow within type of look which I have actually done a couple times so I think it still might turn out halfway decent when I do it this way oh another quick side note I'm currently wearing my aligners right now so if it looks like throughout the video I'm struggling to like close my mouth it's because I'm wearing these and I have a really bad overbite which is the main reason why I wanted to get these in the first place but yeah like I used to get bullied OD back in sixth grade because I couldn't close my mouth like I would dead always walk around like this like because I just can't close my mouth, like I don't know why. And now I have to like retrain myself on how to close my mouth with my aligners in compared to them not being in. So next I'm basically just going to be going into that same palette again. And I'm basically just going to apply my blush right underneath where I applied that highlighter. I really don't think the blush is going to show up too much, to be honest. Yeah, it's not even really showing up all like that, at least to me anyway. 
Yeah, the blush isn't really showing up at all for me whatsoever. So I'm actually going to go into the Wander Beauty Wanderness Dust Till Dawn palette. And I'm basically just going to use the shade in the middle just because it's a bit darker. So I feel like it might pop up on my skin more. Like I have to really pack it on there for me to actually really see anything. Like you see, like now you can actually start seeing the pink coming through. Like now nah, this is a challenge for a reason. Like I'm going to go full throttle and make sure that everything is packed on, not in like a bad way. And I literally just realized I had a whole brown line on the side of my mouth, but that's okay because it's gonna get covered up by foundation anyways. So there's that. I think I maybe applied a bit too much cause that like, you know, like those Cabbage Patch dolls that have like the rosy cheeks and like, it's really like dramatic. I feel like that's what I look like right now. like. And I still gotta do the thumbnails and everything for this video too, Lord. So next I'm gonna be bronzing my face and I'm going to be using the Maybelline City Bronzer. And I know this is looking high key crazy. I actually dropped this bronzer a couple months ago actually. Like I would literally say like maybe like a week or two after I had bought this, I dropped it and it did looks like this. And I know a trick to get it to be smooth and whatnot but i just keep forgetting to do it and then by the time i go to pick it up to use it i'm like oh yeah i was supposed to do this because this is so freaking messy this is so see look look what i just did this is so messy and i hate wasting product like that drives me nuts so anyways i do not know where the brush is that i usually use to do my contour so i'm gonna try to use this and see what it looks like I mean, my cheekbones is popping though, but oh my, ugh. I feel like the left side doesn't look that bad. I definitely did apply too much blush, but the right side on the other hand, yikes. And then you can't forget about the jawline. You know what? I feel like it would have looked better if I would have used like a, um, a liquid concealer for my contour now that i think about it but i'm just gonna keep it like this and i'm not trying to have the video be too complicated and then i'm just gonna take a smaller brush and i'm just gonna go in and contour my nose so that's that oh oh i'm looking crazy right now Jesus. Okay, what's next? Oh, so next I'm gonna be going into the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the shade Tan, and I'm basically just gonna apply that basically all over my face for the most part. I know typically a lot of people use this to like set their foundation, but I just let it, I like to use it all over my face to set everything, just because I personally feel like it gives an overall better look and kind of just blends everything together. What the heck was that? I think I have a gnat in my room. Oh, I swear. I have such a love-hate relationship with Summer, it's ridiculous. So next, I'm going to be going in with the Laura Mercier setting powder and I'm going to be using, what's this one? This is the translucent shade. Do they have, I don't even know, do they even have a banana shade in this? I'm not 100% sure. As you guys can clearly see, I got the mini just because a, I'm cheap, and B, I wanted to actually see if it was worth me buying the full size. I actually never used this before, so I'm actually really curious to see how this is gonna turn out. So I'm basically just gonna apply this powder everywhere I would usually put it to set my concealer. I don't know why I had like a mini brain fart just now, but I got it out. And then I'm just gonna lightly dust that over all the places I would normally put my concealer. I am anti-baking, I never bake. I feel like whenever I do bake, my makeup just looks super like chalky. I mean, it looks bomb on camera, but when I look at myself in the bathroom or like in natural lighting on my phone, it just looks a hot mess and that's not what we're aiming for. On my channel, if you follow my makeup tutorials and whatnot, you're gonna be looking good in person, not just on camera. Like, ain't nobody gonna be able to clock you, sis. Let me tell y'all something. Nobody can ever sit up here and tell me in person that my makeup looks a hot mess. That's just how much confidence I have in myself and in how I do my makeup. Like, 
makeup is like art to me and it's also really like therapeutic so of course i want to i want everything to turn out nice guys i really like this powder though like i keep kind of packing it on but i actually really like it so guys i literally just went in my bathroom to put water on my beauty blender and i'm looking in the mirror and my makeup actually doesn't look half bad like in person and actually doesn't look that bad like under like i guess like bathroom lining it doesn't look that bad that is crazy. Like y'all see this, right? Like I'm not crazy. Like it actually doesn't look that bad at all. But like, I guess like with all like the artificial lights and stuff like that, like I literally I have a ring light and two soft boxes and I'm looking low key crazy, but like in person though, it's not that horrible. Okay guys, so up to this point on my face, I have been using basically all powders and now I'm going to be getting into the liquid products and yeah, let's see how this goes. So for the concealer, I'm going to be using the Milani Conceal and Protect Concealer. And if anyone was wondering, I'm in the shade 150 Natural Sand, I think it's called. Yeah, Natural Sand. This is basically the color that I like to use to highlight my face. I haven't used this concealer in so long. I actually ran out of the last two that I had and then I had actually ordered another one off of Amazon. Guys, if you guys want a really good drugstore concealer, definitely check this concealer out. I do know I did a way more in-depth review on this concealer. Oh, I was like a year and some change ago, I think, actually, that I did it. I'll leave an e-card or something like that if you guys wanted to see how that looked. Now, don't clock me in the camera quality, ain't all that. Yada, yada, yada. My hair wasn't 100% on point like it is now because look at me what lace but you know again it still gives you a bit more depth on how I feel about the concealer as a whole and like the wear I think I did a wear test I honestly don't remember but nonetheless check it out because why not like give your girl some love you know I'm actually not looking that half bad on camera at least in person. I could see every single last nook and cranny on my skin. Oh Jesus. Oh wow. Listen, primer is very important. At least to me because oh lord. I mean uh, like I said on camera it looks really nice but like in person it looks like I've already been wearing my makeup for like eight hours. So next for foundation I'm actually going to be going into the CoverGirl True Blend foundation and in this foundation I'm in the shade T60. <sighs> okay let's see how this is gonna go because the way this foundation set up it is I would say like medium to full coverage so I feel like all of this situation for the most part is gonna be gone by the time I blend everything out. So let's see how that's gonna look. I don't know why I don't play with this foundation more often because even though this is like a matte finish foundation, I still love the way it looks. But as you guys can see, like, you can see some of it still peeking through, but for the most part, it basically just covered everything I already just did. Okay, so for this part, I'm extremely nervous. And honestly, out of all the primers that I own, I feel like this will be the easiest primer to use at this particular point. So I am going to be using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer to prime my face. Oh, I'm nervous because I blend this in with my hands too. Okay, I was about to say, I hope I have paper towels over here, but I do, so. Here goes nothing. Oh, this is giving me anxiety. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. This looks crazy. And it's like, oh Jesus, why did, oh God. Like you guys can see like the streaks and like the line of demarcation and everything right now, like. So 
What do I do next? Okay, so next I'm going to be applying my mink lashes and yeah oh god oh my face just feels so weird right now guys like I, I can't even explain the feeling i just feel like yucky right now like that is just oh my god And then next I'm going to be applying some eyeliner and oh and then if anyone was wondering I'm going to be using the e.l.f. liquid eyeliner it basically comes in a tube like this okay the wing is already crooked hold on see this is why I like doing my eyes first and then the rest of my face is I feel like I can't really touch my face all like that my wing looks atrocious oh my gosh that looks so bad But that's what that's looking like and then oh crap okay so last but definitely not least my brows my brows let me tell y'all something listen it never fails whenever i do my brows on camera they turn out a hot mess so i don't even bother i usually just do it in the bathroom then sit down and film everything else. I don't know what it is about the setup. I don't I don't know. Maybe I need to stand up to be able to do it right. I don't know. So again, since we're doing everything backwards, first and foremost, I'm going to be going into the LA Colors Browy Wowy. And basically this is just their tinted brown brow. I said brown. Well, it is brown, but brow gel. So I'm basically just gonna move that through. My brow hair is like so. Just do this to my brows and then just leave them alone. So that's nice. I think, like I said before, they do need to get shaped again. But that's fine. So far, they don't look a hot mess. So that's good, right? Next, moving on with concealer, I'm going to be using. And I just touched my face. I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Cool Tan. I'm a creature of habit. I, I like switching up my makeup a lot to a certain extent, but I've never, I've been using the same exact products to do my eyebrows for months now. Like it really didn't change at all. And then I'm just gonna blend, uh, okay. Like so, and kind of just try to blend that out. I got this. I am a warrior, okay? I can survive this horrible ordeal. I can do this. Positive affirmations to yourself, guys, because if ain't nobody gonna hype you up, you gotta hype yourself up. Positive affirmation. We all need it. Now, I'm going to be going into the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. This is in the shade Dark Brown, if anybody was wondering. Oh god, this looks darker than usual, too. Like, it usually doesn't look this dark when I first put it on. Oh god, this looks like a clumpy mess, but on camera, I don't think it looks that bad, but... Oh god, my brows are looking like how I used to do them back in the day when I first started my channel straight cringe and honest to goodness the reason why my eyebrows look like that was because i never cleaned them up with um concealer and i don't know about you guys but like concealer definitely does narrow down your brows to a certain extent and it just makes it look overall better so if you're someone that's just starting off with makeup please 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 save yourself the embarrassment and use concealer when you do your brows this looks mad lopsided like one side looks way bigger than the other and see at this point because sometimes that does happen to me at this point i will use concealer to clean it up but i can't because we're working backwards just All right guys, so this is pretty much the finished look on me doing my makeup completely backwards. And I wanna say it was a complete fail, but I know for a fact the moment I'm done shooting this, I'm gonna wanna get up and take this off my face because I don't, uh, I just feel like, 
Like, you know, you just feel uncomfortable. Like, that's how I'm feeling right now. Like, maybe I'm dragging it a bit, but that's just how I feel because I'm very particular on how I do things. And, yeah, this is pretty much what it looks like. So, yeah, let me know down in the comment section how you guys think I did. Because, actually, I don't think it's ha that bad. I feel like at least it's halfway decent. Like, will I walk out the house looking like this? With the mask on, yes. Yes, I would. If I had the quick jump up and, and go to the store or do a favor for a friend, like right now, right now, I would be okay with the mask on. With the mask off, not so much. That's too much face to be showing what my makeup looking like this. But with the mask on, I got you. Yeah, this is definitely fun though. Like it was, a, it was something different. Like it wasn't so like humdrum beauty guru type situation no boring voiceovers and stuff like that so i think i think you know this video was definitely fun to film i hope you guys enjoyed watching it like i said earlier please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl down below to see more content definitely if you guys have any video suggestions for me to do definitely don't hesitate to comment down below and let your girl know what you guys want to see i hope you guys have a great day or evening or whatever time you happen to be watching this and i will definitely see you guys in my next one